Hey, orange one here. We got some zombies and blobs all around us, basically. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I think we're going to be okay. I, mean, I got my Jane here. Um, we are a little bit winded. Sorry about that. So maybe I'll, uh, yeah, let's turn off the in-game audio just for a little bit. Hopefully I remember to turn that back on. We'll see. Um, yeah, safety off, of course. I'm not going to get the gun out just quite yet. I don't think we need to. I think our friend, eh, maybe, yeah, maybe we should get the gun. I think it's on the ground around here. I was just checking before I started recording. Yeah, we got, got a good amount there. It'd be nice to help him with that grabber, so I'm just going to pull back for a little bit. Um, I also don't want to damage my hearing right now. Not any more than I need to. It's, it doesn't like take any time, so it's like whatever. Yeah, if it's still alive, yeah, sure. We can. This should really help him because if we take this guy out, then he should be able to take on that Kevlar Hulk. Kevlar Hulk, I think, will do a good amount of damage to him. Is a thing that we also need to keep in mind. So we need to just keep these guys off of his back, and he should be able to kind of push onto the. Yep, there we go. He just took care of the nadir. Okay, what do we have down here? We got a wrestler and a hum hungry zombie. Uh, what else can I see? There's a necromancer. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Okay, let's go for the necromancer then. Yeah. That's definitely the target that I want. Uh, as long as we're not hitting our friend is the thing. That's pretty close, but we had we had like pretty good aim. Yeah, we we should be okay. As long as we've got it like as precisely aimed as we can. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay, there's a wrestler. How's he? How's that Kevlar? Okay, the Kevlar Hulk is kind of hurting. I think we want to just make sure this wrestler doesn't get in the, in there. That's that's the one I'm really concerned about, to be honest. The other one's easy to clear out pretty quickly. It's that wrestler. Oh man, now my friends kind of made the angle not great. Okay, can I kind of wrap around so I can hit that? Like, okay, well now you've been pushed, so I can get a clean shot on the hungry zombie. I should really be using my Jane on you, but eh, it's okay. Maybe I'll I'll take like a step or two back. My companion here can take care of you. Hopefully. I want to take aim at this corrosive. Oh, it just got pulled. Can I hit the corrosive? Yeah, I can. Um, let's hit this this grabber. Gotta just kind of take him out. I I have another clip as well with me. I just need to make sure that we don't get completely overran. Yeah, we can just drop the drum mag for now. It's fine. Okay, we do have not the best situation here. We got that hollow that's just going to be... We have to just shoot it. I mean, honestly, I could be using my Jane against it. But uh, let's kind of take a step back. Yeah, our friend should be able to kind of pull it. Now I've got a clean shot on you, corrosive zombie. Nope, never mind. I thought I did. That's so annoying. Okay, well he got he got the Hulk. That's good. There we go. I got the corrosive. Um nice. Very good friend. Okay, uh how much ammo do I have? 26. Okay, I got 26 shots. That's that's pretty good. Okay, let's uh let's just clean things up a little bit. Uh let's get the Jane out. We'll just drop the gun. I'm I'm still pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna keep the game audio off for just a little bit more. Just get our breath back. I'm just kinda gonna wait it out here on top of our gun. Oh actually let's see, Harvey, I think I had told him um, 
Let's see, mis miscellaneous rules. I had told him not to bash them because there was like uh, some like technicians and other stuff that were wandering around and I want to be careful around that, but I want him to be able to smash them now. Yeah, go ahead and take care of a few of them. Um, I might go... Uh, this guy spotted me They're pretty far away. Um, let's see. I would like to just kind of take care of this corpse. If they haven't spotted me... Yeah, go ahead and... Um, just dismember them. Cool. Alright, let's go up here and we should... Just smash some corpses, just just to secure things. Okay, I think that we can. There you go. Beautiful, right? You can hear it. I need to click on it after I click on OBS to like get to actually, you know, work. But there you go. Uh, we we survived that encounter. Um, I might want to get more ammo. I think that was something I didn't do in the last episode. But I think we, we have the ammo belts in here. We just need to, like, you know, clear it out. Yeah, like, look at these. We've got tons tons of these. Okay, so let's get that um, to the southeast. Uh, that'd be that right here. Ooh, this guy right here. Yep. I would like that, please. And can I... Unload that, thank you. And then we've got all these bullets, right? So... Oh, there's tons of them right here as well. Huh, that's, that's weird. I, I thought I didn't have access to that for some reason. Okay, well we have tons and tons of bullets. Good for us. Actually, you know, Harvey, you can, you can join us in our little excursion down here. Um, I was thinking we could take some of these bodies and make mutagen. That is definitely one of the good uses of these guys out here. Um, but I don't, I don't really know. It's kind of also, I just kind of wanted to check out this field zone, the football field. Yeah, come here. I think, I don't think I even need to use my gun here. Friend, where are you? We're going to try and be as close to you as I can and show you how it's done. Let's get the Jane out. I think... Oh yeah, we don't have an MP3 player. That's a shame. That would be pretty cool. There's one of them down. I think I got my towel, so I can... Let's see. Yep, so we it's down. There we go. Our friend's here. We got tons of bullets right there. Um... It's so brutal. <laughs> He's so so over overpowered. This encrusted zombie's gotta just like get demolished. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna get that towel and clean myself. Nice. So yeah, we we got our nice uh, nice little setup now. I'm trying to look and see our gas mask. Is that my? That's not my gas mask. It's just a gas mask. Our gas mask has a little bit of use still in it. Good. Can I just reload that with the drum mag? I just kind of want to have the drum mag. But please keep the other mag on you. And then will I... Yep. Yeah. And then I'm able to carry that because the drum mag's pretty big. You know, if that drum mag's like in the gun on our back, then whatever. So what do we have around here? There's a cabin. That's super weird um okay furniture store oh the library's right there can I cut down to the library and just kind of clear these guys out I'm nauseous that's fine that's totally fine man let's see I mean Harvey I think can just straight up just kill that dude, that dude. yep this, this, I think we can handle this. I mean, I've got like 50 bullets in, in the rifle. And another 30 in my back pocket, you know? Honestly. And I'm pretty good with the Jane now. I don't know. I mean, our focus isn't great right now, so I'm not learning a lot. But check this out. We got um, cutting 7. 
in melee six. I've been I've spent a little bit of time just clearing out zombies off camera and uh, trying to keep the morale high. I should probably grab like an MP3 player and see is there an MP3 player around here? There is one. There's one over there. Okay, well I think I might go for that soon. Honestly. These guys, they're kind of nasty. I'm going to need to get some antibiotics because they just bit my arm and infected it, it looks like. Okay, let's see, what do I have going here? Yeah, that one's down. Cool. It's not, it's not too bad. Our friend is, is scared. It's not too bad, really. Yeah, why don't you finish the last one for me there, buddy? Come on. Don't be a coward. Okay, I'm gonna have to get my rifle and go back to the car soon. We'll, we'll let you get the bodies there. Maybe I'll, I'll let you fight this dude. Do I have, um, I do not have, I've just got bandages on me. I don't have antiseptic. Is there maybe a first aid kit maybe? Nope. Okay, let's go back to the car then. We'll come back and, and smash the rest of those bodies soon. Hopefully Necromancer doesn't come through. <laughs> That'd be really annoying. Um, it's part of the game, though. Man, it's kind of crazy thinking about the point in the game that we've gotten to. Like, we're just, like, unstoppable, essentially. I could just grab a few more mags and just be, like, walking around like we were um, with the, those leg pouches. Uh, let's see, where's the... Pick that up, and then we'll apply it. Oh, nice, it's it's full. Okay, cool. So now we're good. We're good to go. And we could grab a little bite to eat, and let's do a little sensory dueling. Yeah, we'll do a little food or something. Actually, let's see. Harvey, how are you doing? Yeah, you're you're totally fine. You're not hungry or tired or thirsty or anything. How's your skills going? He's getting all right. He's getting some melee, and, like cutting skill and bashing skill. Actually, that bashing skill is pretty impressive. I think he must be getting that from like mutations. Then let's see. I think yeah, we're gonna cook a little something. Let's do like. A, a deluxe meal. I've found that that tends to be good because, well, the character likes it, right? Let's use some of the sugar beets. I think those were gonna go off. We got so much of all this stuff, right? The salt can be used for other things, though, so I think I'm gonna leave the salt. But, like, that right there is, like, a, a good meal for your character. And we can also, like, raid these houses. There's also tons of food in these houses. Like, any of these. You can just kind of check out and then like, like oh what's around here oh there's i don't want to eat dried beans I'll, I'll pick that up i think there's oftentimes things like oh some forest honey sure i'll, I'll have some of that you know so like there is there's like some things that you find especially with the snacks and like the pantry stuff i think that's dog food right no what is that Oh no, it's red sauce. I could eat some red sauce. <laughs> uh, it looks like you don't get joy from having more than just one serving of it. That's kind of interesting. I like that. Oh, don't want to have that. So like, I mean, we could be checking out like the basement of that house. I really should be doing that. Just give me a second. I do like the beans. It's it's a good nutritious meal for a character, the beans and rice. So if I find beans or rice, I, I pretty much always pick this up. Yet, I don't know. I think that there's something weird happening with the world spawn. Oh. There you go. You got it. Did you smash it? No, you did not. Come on, man. Finish what you started, man. You know. I think... We're going to try and kind of fight the neighborhood around here. Yeah, I got my gun on my back, but I think eh, maybe I should repair my armor a little bit. 
Yeah, you, you can uh, you can fight those guys however you right? Yeah, you got it. Cool. Yeah, I think... Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> we got a little bit banged up recently. Harvey, why don't you let that guy come... To okay, well, I guess you're gonna fight really, like, on the worst possible position. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tal... There we go. I think I have a tailoring kit around here and, like, a soldering iron, but I think... I'm not sure if we have the, um, like the rags and stuff that we'll need. Oh, come on. Do I have like a backpack or something? I thought I was carrying like a backpack. No, it doesn't look like it. I have one. Not on me right now. Oh, there's a molly pack right there. I can use that. Okay. Tailoring kit. Um, let's go ahead and repair. Nope. Okay, we, oh, so we got some leather. Uh, where's that? Okay, it's outside. Can I drop that for a second? Just take a second. Like, if, if there's like zombies around, where's that other nadir? Over here. Okay. Yeah, you coming? You coming over here? I thought you might be. Come here, RB. Do you want to get on this a little bit? Did you CBM? Like he gets a couple rounds of of energy like that. I think I want to up his energy though. He he doesn't seem to be able to carry like enough stuff. I think I'll leave also those linkages. I don't really care for that. <laughs> I don't know why I was carrying that. Um, let's see, tailoring kit. So we've repaired that. Okay, I think I need like some sheets or something, which I should be able to get from this. Yep, thank you. And I'm doing this inside here just because it's a little bit more secure. Um, I don't know why I'm carrying around the gas mask. I think I found it recently. Let's just cut it up, it's fine. I honestly don't even carry the rags with me because there's so many sheets, especially now that we're kind of like doing like a city run. I mean, we're not doing a city run, but we've been in the city for a while. I, I have at least. And so I've been like very used to playing like that. Okay. Um, looking pretty good there. We'll go ahead and just have unload what we don't really need. Oh, we do have a gas mask cartridge that's fully loaded. I think I was carrying that. Yes, I remember now. Okay. We're carrying that around. Push sheet down. Um, I'm not sure why I'm carrying that around. I think I was going to use that on like some zombie and then just like toss it. Have a, not <laughs> the best gun to just be carrying around. <laughs> right. Um, let's go ahead and just get that out. Something, something going, smashing around. How much damage did that do? Did that do, like, any damage? Uh, it was reflected off its thick hide. Well, not gonna get into melee with that with my backpack here. And by the time I've got this out, it's gonna be dead, huh? Nope. Okay. Alright, let's make a difference here. Oh jeez, ouch. Okay, well. Um Yeah. We're gonna be the thing about fighting zombies is that you're gonna be constantly in poor health because you get nauseous a lot. Um, because you're dealing with like toxic gross things, you know? Is what I've found. So I really should be taking anti um or not antibox, um gummies and whatnot. That is something that I would actually recommend. It's just kind of unload. I don't think we need to do much. Just, you know, the basic, basic procedure. And I actually, yeah, I don't think I need to be wearing that. I do need to be wearing the gun. That is something I need to be wearing. Could also get that paper and make down it. Oh, what's this? Have I? I don't think I've looted that yet. Oh, yeah, the way. Nope. 
It looks like there's nothing there. Yeah, there. What's this here? I need, um, oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? 80, 82 rounds, that's pretty good. Um, let's unload. And we can drop the cartridge, or not the cartridge, the belt linkage. I just kind of want the rounds, yeah. Why is it? There we go, okay. So we were trying to kind of get to there, but I want to just kind of clear out the nearby area just to make sure that we're good. And it does look like we're pretty much good. And you can see that we've really made this uh, more of a ghost town than a zombie town, you know? And I think that this is at the point where the game gets really kind of... A lot of people are like, I don't know what to do, and I'm like, kill more zombies. <laughs> Like, you know, when in doubt, just go go on a little uh, challenge to see how much you can kind of push your character. Um, oh, we were going to get that MP3 player, right? That is something I did want to do, just because it will be good for error morale. Yep. Sorry. A little diversion. Oh, look, there's a football. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, nice. The MP3 even's got full battery. It's probably like, what is this? Um, this call it's the water cart. Nice. Can I um, have a drink from the water? Uh, yep, drink the clean water. Nice. Um, what's what are the items in here? Towels, whistle. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Leg splint. Yeah, let's get that. Sports. Oh no. Well. I'm gonna get the sports drink. You know what? I think. Oh, actually, our, char our character does not like that. That's kind of weird. I had a friend who like. <laughs> it's so much Gatorade. Growing up in his house, it was insane. It was like a wall of Gatorade, like no joke. You know what's great about this is that we haven't even really needed to use our adrenaline CBM recently, which is kind of like the way I like it, honestly. Okay, Zombie Master, we're going to get the gun out for you. You are one that I, I'm not going to mess around with. I think that's the Master, yeah. Yep. Yep, take that. Okay. Uh, where are those blobs going? I don't know. There should be um other zombies. If they're nearby, they should come to us. We are, like, pretty much right outside the library right now. Yeah, the library is right here, so I could clear this out pretty easily, it looks like. Oh, yeah, there's some some of them right there, but they're kind of, like, stuck behind that counter. Kind of weird. Okay. Well, let's get the, the Jane out. We don't need to be shooting right now. I think that this is the key to lasting for a while in this game is knowing when you need your gun and when you don't. And I'm a little bit nervous about the smoke there, honestly. Oh, yep, there is a hound. That's bad news. If that hits Harvey, he could be in trouble. So I need to, like, kill it. Should I go auto? I'm going auto. Hopefully I didn't, like, hit anyone. Too badly there. Um, I I hit it for twenty six damage. Okay, well that was not great, and that probably gave me way more recoil than a normal hit would have. Okay, I think he's trying to run away from the hound. A good move. Uh, the firefighter is in the way. Okay, well let's take this one out. Okay. I think we just need to make sure the hound gets taken out. And I just, I'm gonna try and back up our friend here. Did, did we get the hound? I think he might have gotten the hound. How are you? Um, kind of hurting, man. You're actually pretty hurting. Can I uh, look at your armor? How is it? 
It's not burnt or anything. Not from what I can tell. Oh, it's pretty banged up though. Probably repair your gear a little bit. And the hunting dog I'm not too worried about. It'll just explode. Honestly. But if my friend wants to fall back, I'm all for that. And there's a shocker brute. Where's where's the shocker brute? I'm seeing a shocker brute somewhere. I'm gonna just kinda try and be in the front then. Where are you? You're in the car. Okay. We're gonna try and just kill the zombies and pull back a little bit. Go this way. Okay, well, it looks like Harvey's gonna kill that guy. I don't know if I, I need to shoot at you. I'm just gonna aim. There you go. He, he got it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's pull back a little bit, bud. If you if you would be so kind. It'd come with me. Yes. Yes. That's good. Um, Yeah, it's just come back. Nope. Stop smashing. Um... There's some blobs, I think, mostly there. Yeah, it's mostly blobs. There are those two zombies, though, in that car. Sorry about the heartbeat again. I think we'll just kind of wait it out here. Might try and charge at the blobs. Um, there's a wrestler there. And a hazmat zombie. I'm going to try and get a good angle on that wrestler. And get around our friend. Yep, I got you in my sights there, buddy. You just gotta kinda know how your NPC companions are gonna move and how they're gonna target their enemies and which enemies to prioritize yourself. Like, which ones are gonna do a lot of damage to you or them. Yeah, I need to move a little bit. Hopefully he kills the wrestler before he gets punched. It's pretty hurt. Um, I mean, I'm... There we go. I thought that that would do the trick. Okay, cool. I think... Uh, let's drop the gun for now. Get our Jane out. I don't think the shocker... Um, and they're... If they get through that windshield, they could be on us pretty quick. So I do need to be careful here. Okay, but I think we're okay. Get our gun... Is he attacking right now? No, nope. come back here, man. Just, just give, give me a little bit of distance in case that shocker comes our way. Yeah, let's just get back a little bit, please. Thank you. Yep, charging your CBM is a good idea. Let's just kind of wait. Second, okay. And I could go back and get more ammo, but I think we're fine. Also. I don't want that just going unnecessarily. A okay, shocker brute. Can't shoot ya. With the ethereal zombie we could shoot. I mean, do I want to? I think we'll keep this distance. Um, I don't think I'll shoot the ethereal. We'll get the Jane out. And I think I'll I'll, I'll melee them if I need to. Come on. There we go. Okay, I think the shocker's running our way. Uh, just drop it. And let me kill this, please, before Harvey starts charging. Um, I'll just take aim. It's good. That was a good hit. Another good hit. He's gonna shock us any second now. Come on. He's gotta be down, like, with this next hit, no matter what. There we go. Alright. Shocker is down. That Kevlar Hulk is gonna be nasty. How are, how are you doing there, buddy? And that right arm could be a lot better. I'm gonna just do quick antiseptic on that arm. 
Um, and can I also activate that and get the Jane in there? I think... I think we might want to just smash these corpses or make sure that they've been smashed. Yep, why don't you do your thing? I'll keep an eye on these guys. I mean, I know that our buddy can take care of the Kevlar Hulk, even in his current state, but it's gonna be a painful one, you know? And it's, yeah, I think getting near the end of the episode, I think we might as well just kind of kill this guy here. RV, come on, get back here, please. Just give me some distance to work with. Here we go. Yeah, like, we don't, like, hardly even scratch the thing, honestly, with the gun that I'm, I'm using. But you know what we do have? We do have a grenade launcher. You ready? Oh, no. Hold on. Why am I not able to hit them suddenly? There we go. I, I like, didn't have a line of sight on him, really. Okay. Um, it didn't fire correctly. Is that what happened? Okay. Dang. That's a real shame. I'm gonna just do what I can. I mean, it's not a whole lot of damage, but it's something. You know, we'll give our, our friend... I, mean, I have thousands of bullets, is the thing. It's kind of like, oh, whatever, you know? Okay, that exploded. Um, actually, you know what? I should have my earplugs probably in. Watch as our friend actually makes a difference with the damage he's doing. Yeah, he's actually, like, already heard it. Did he just push it back? I think he did. Uh, he just got pushed himself. Um, I mean, it's definitely uh, a work in progress. Just make sure that I can hit it, honestly. Oh, hold on. It's pretty much dead. Not that I'm doing much about that. I mean, we are contributing. How am I doing ammo-wise? Okay, well, I'm out of that. It's fine. Okay, good. Can I actually reload the drum mag? And yeah, we'll pick those back up. I think that that's, yep, that's fully reloaded. Looks good to me. Thank you, my friend. Nice, you're actually doing pretty good there. Um, you do need definitely a little bit of first aid done, though. He's actually doing okay. Um, I know that you guys are curious, so I'll just go for another minute or two. Oh, I'm sorry about that. And let's see what books we got in here. And you gotta see the spoils of of our our fight. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> Um, autobiography of a manly man. Okay, let's just get that breath thing away. It's so annoying. There we go. All right, well, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing um, that I haven't got already. That's a shame. Dusk horror. Yeah, I, I have never heard of that. So, I thought it might be a hallucination. Um, okay, well, that is a royal shame. I'll have to figure out what I want to go to next and explore. Um, I think that is that subway. There's that movie theater. We could check that out. Uh, just kind of see what's going on there. I think, you know, the chances of us finding another underground lab after going around the subways, I don't know how great it is, honestly. I mean, I think... Our better bet, if I wanted to do something like that, is just go up and, like, out, out this ways, you know, and go, like, out here to these remote places. I mean, I know that there's military bunkers there. 
in an outpost there. I mean, that could be some, we could do some fighting, clear out some bunkers and outposts. That's actually a lot. How did I get that info? That's a lot of bunkers and outposts up there that, yeah, I think that could be kind of fun. Okay, we got some ideas. Um, if I haven't done that, remind me, and then I'll try and do that again. Yep. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.